An assertion from Teacher Carlos. Zero in on Durham School. I've committed my entire calling to enabling and express speculation about the universe. Then, at that point, this happens, the speculation is being watched out for. I embrace this test because it is through such looking that we advance and gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is basically disturbing some long-held convictions in cosmology that have been seen as truth for a considerable length of time. One more ultra-trackdown picture has revealed that we have committed mistakes in space science. The telescope, which was intended to uncover the focal stars of the universe, is really dangerous. The previous point of view could introduce an absolutely new true perspective. Not all experts are mourned about these new divulgences. Various specialists are welcoming these levels of progress since it has, for a huge period of time, been evident that there were issues with our previous hypotheses. The oddities in studying the universe's speed of improvement alone should have raised alarms for any subject matter experts an incredibly long time ago. As opposed to exactly loosening up these cautions, a large number adhered to outdated speculation. The inestimable microwave background radiation, CMB, which is the most ancient light in the universe, was made around 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had adequately cooled for electrons and protons to approach stable hydrogen particles. This change, known as reionization, made the universe transparent to light. The CMB was first recognized in 1964 by American physicists Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson while they were managing new radio gatherer development. They encountered a consistent commotion coming from every direction. Over time, this discovery was considered strong evidence for the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. Penzias and Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize, and their discoveries became a critical foundation in the historical background of space science. The CMB in all probability gives a short look into the early universe, with minute temperature changes offering central snippets of data about the conditions not long after the tremendous blast. Specialists used the CMB as a dependable marker to measure enormous pieces of the material universe, including the universe's expansion rate. Edwin Hubble had previously made such assessments in the late 1920s. He saw that faraway galaxies were moving away from us in all directions and that their speed was associated with their distance, a relationship now known as the Hubble Law or the Hubble Constant. Notwithstanding the fact that Hubble's assessments were not as accurate as they are today, they were significant. When the CMB was tracked down, specialists recalculated the expansion rate, seeing it as generally lower than Hubble's basic evaluation. Subsequent recalculations using type IA supernovae as standard candles gave a more careful check, though mistakes remained. The difference in expansion rate measures has been known since the 1990s. Experts have speculated that there may be issues with the CMB data examination methods or the possibility of general advancement. This uniqueness, known as the S8 tension or Hubble strain, suggests that how we may interpret the universe could be fundamentally faulty. Since the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, started its assignments, it has provided amazing data that could help with figuring out the issue. Some galaxies are so old and mature that their development may speculatively have started before the Big Bang, testing old cosmological theories. Space science now faces what is considered to be the biggest crisis in modern cosmology. The universe's expansion speed and the speculation of how things came to be are under extreme examination. New pictures reveal a universe that differs substantially from past models. The S8 strain has served as an early alert to experts who still adhere to outdated hypotheses, now grappling with the confirmation that how we may interpret the universe may be insufficient. This uncertainty has left many inspectors lamented and frustrated. To address this crisis, we must understand how science functions. Theoretical specialists use a combination of mathematical models, observational data, and reasonable reasoning to arrive at conclusions. Their understanding comes from studying peculiarities, test results, and speculative examination. The term theory itself suggests improvements and contemplations instead of outright facts. Our reasonable data comes from pictures provided by telescopes, sound waves and radiation gathered by radio telescopes, as well as data from neutrino and gravitational wave detectors. The James Webb Space Telescope allows us to isolate the most distant light into individual frequencies and analyze it in great detail. It can show what parts were accessible in distant galaxies billions of years ago, the mass held within them, 
and the number of stars present. However, Webb's photos may have limitations. For example, it can't truly identify galaxies or black holes that produce similar phenomena due to gravitational lensing. Our understanding has progressed to consider different possible results as parts of observations, often rejecting alternative explanations. New discoveries from the James Webb Telescope offer essential signs that could lead to superseding old theories with new pieces of information. Scientists are currently grappling with these revelations, which seem so remarkable that finding new explanations is proving difficult. The latest discoveries are shaking the underpinnings of physical science, causing concern among many experts. Physical science guidelines today are still heavily influenced by Isaac Newton's 17th century work. For a prolonged period, his laws of motion and gravity have provided the foundation for understanding the physical world and the universe. Newton's laws functioned admirably under ordinary circumstances on Earth. However, in space, his ideas needed expansion to an extraordinary degree, accomplished by Albert Einstein during the 20th century. Einstein's theory of relativity, published in 1905, changed how we could interpret reality showing that the laws of physical science are relative to the observer's motion. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, expanded these ideas with mathematical estimates of gravitational anomalies, considering the curvature of spacetime caused by masses like stars or galaxies. While Einstein's theories were clear in various areas, he recognized their limits and sought a unifying framework. Without progress, no scientist has yet succeeded in this attempt. It is fascinating to consider where the errors could lie. Michi Kaku, a notable American astrophysicist, proposed that solving this issue could lead to a Nobel Prize. We truly need to examine what reality might have been misunderstood, he said. Whether there have been misinterpretations of anomalies or whether telescopes themselves might be at fault, dark matter and dark energy are top suspects in the cosmological crisis. Current models suggest that dark matter and dark energy together account for nearly 95% of the universe. However, neither has been directly seen or proven to exist. They may not exist at all, or perhaps have properties we don't yet understand. One possibility being examined is that dark matter's properties might have evolved over time, perhaps showing some kind of intelligence. Gravity, which should cause an attraction through mass or spacetime, has not been directly shown to act exactly as expected. Despite the fact that spacetime curvature considerations from Einstein have been confirmed many times, we cannot entirely rule out the possibility that gravity has surprising properties or that some other effect is causing gravitational attraction over time. Specific properties in cosmology and space science have been established as fundamental constants, recognized for their consistency. Assessments suggested that small variations in these constants could offer new insights into the universe, potentially explaining anomalies without dark energy. It is also possible that our understandings of light shifts have been incorrect, leading to mistaken distance measurements and galaxy ages. Perhaps our assumptions about the universe's conditions were flawed, or we misread the cosmic microwave background radiation. It could even be that the universe doesn't originate from a single early phase challenging the Big Bang theory itself. Small errors in the Webb telescope or other observational instruments can't be ruled out. Scientists and experts acknowledge that mistakes in instrumentation, data handling, or interpretation are generally possible. The continuous reassessment of cosmological hypotheses highlights the fundamental nature of scientific progress, the ability to change and drive our understanding based on new evidence. The James Webb Space Telescope's findings are much more than an innovative leap. They represent a colossal moment in our journey to unravel the universe's deepest realities. As we wrestle with these revelations, it is crucial to see the broader context and implications of such ongoing changes in the field of cosmology. The approach involved is often driven by the need to refine theories in accordance with new discoveries. The discovery of unconventional anomalies or abnormalities in established theories can be unsettling. However, it also presents a tremendous opportunity for scientific development. Hypothetical models in cosmology are created to provide a coherent framework for understanding the universe's origins, progression, and evolution. However, as new data emerges, these models must be tested and, if necessary, rethought to accommodate new experiences. 
One critical area of focus is the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which are essential to contemporary cosmological models. Dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that doesn't emit or absorb light, was proposed to explain discrepancies between galaxy rotation curves and the mass predicted by observable matter alone. Similarly, dark energy was introduced to account for the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. However, despite their foundational roles, both dark matter and dark energy remain elusive, with Earth-based experiments yet to definitively identify them. This has led researchers to explore alternative theories and possible explanations. The challenge of understanding dark matter and dark energy is intensified by the immense scale of cosmological studies, particularly when viewing distant galaxies. The cosmic microwave background radiation and other cosmic anomalies provide indirect evidence for these components, but their precise nature remains hidden. This uncertainty has prompted scientists to consider a range of theories, from modifications to existing models to entirely new principles. Some hypotheses suggest that dark matter could be made of more exotic particles than previously thought, or that dark energy could represent a new fundamental force. Another fascinating area of cosmological research is the study of cosmic inflation. This theory proposes that the universe underwent rapid expansion in its earliest moments, leading to the large-scale structure we observe today. While inflationary theory has successfully explained many aspects of the universe, such as its homogeneity and flatness, it also raises questions about the nature of the inflationary period itself. Insights that challenge established models of inflation could lead to revisions in how we understand the universe's early history. Finally, the search for extraterrestrial life remains a primary catalyst for space exploration. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has opened new avenues for considering the conditions necessary for life. Advances in telescope technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, enable us to explore the environments of these exoplanets for potential biomarkers. The possibility of finding life beyond Earth carries profound implications for how we interpret the universe and our place within it. In conclusion, the reassessment of cosmological theories is a testament to the strength of the scientific method. The James Webb Space Telescope and other high-level observational instruments have provided extraordinary insights into the universe, prompting scientists to revisit and refine long-held theories. This process of continuous inquiry and correction is essential for advancing our understanding of the universe and addressing the fundamental questions at the heart of cosmology and space science. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we are engaged in a quest for knowledge that not only seeks to answer key questions, but also inspires future generations to push the boundaries of human understanding.